consistency for me. Hmm. I don't know about y'all, but yeah, it's the consistency for me. So, I know I look a mess. Excuse me. Y'all know times is hot right now. I know I look a mess. I hope the fan is not too loud. But my auntie asked me something the other day. Shout out to my auntie, Ebony. She asked me something the other day and was like, um, do you, are you doing the videos because you want the benefits of the videos? Or are you doing the videos because it's actually therapeutic for you? And I can honestly say the videos are actually therapeutic for me. That is why I constantly thank y'all so much for watching. Because, like, when I sit here and I'm talking and I flow, it's literally changing the way I feel like it's changing my feel like when I make videos it has me in such a good energy like all throughout the day because I'm like okay good I made a video today and then I kind of get it out I feel like I'm talking to y'all because I'm going I'm in my isolation phase right now so I'm not talking to like friends and stuff or whatever like that so when I'm getting it out talking to y'all I just feel like we on FaceTime and we talking and we chit chat and I hope the camera don't move too much because I got it on a shoebox we got a nigga red over here we gonna make it do what it do okay so if the camera moving too much it may be because I talking too much or moving a little bit too much but hey the message is the message okay but of course like always thank y'all for constantly watching thank y'all for constantly supporting me what I do love the most though is the lives I always remember I'm going live every Tuesday 7 30 p.m every Friday 7 30 p.m and I will do random pop-up lives mostly on Saturdays but maybe sometime on Sunday nights too mostly i would do maybe do a pop-up live on a saturday sometimes but for sure for sure tuesdays and fridays 7 7 30 p.m if i do change the time i will always put it in a community so y'all be sure to check the community out i love y'all thank y'all appreciate y'all so much now today we're going to be talking about something that is so significant to me which is not even significant but it is because it's been a big 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 part of my life and that's overthinking overthinking has had me in places and rooms that i probably should have never been in overthinking has all also stopped me from going into places and rooms that i could have and should have been in because i was overthinking too much now i want to i kind of like got notes and stuff so i could break this break this thing down for y'all y'all know i don't like doing notes i like being authentic that is why i like the live so much because i like to just let it flow in i don't know i feel like notes is like i gotta write it down but i have so much on my mind sometimes i can't remember and i'll be coming up you know i sit and meditate and i think and i'll be thinking about good stuff and i'll be getting a revelation i want to share with y'all so i do write the my revelations down that i get of course and things that i remember when i started thinking about a certain situation i started writing down so i could share with y'all because i am authentic it's authentic anyways but you know i just want to share with y'all because it's like i be forgetting sometimes i turn the camera on and start talking about some whole other stuff but i do want to share with y'all so i don't know if y'all know this but overthinking is literally just fear I don't know if y'all know that, but overthinking a situation is literally fear. I'm going to give y'all an example. You don't have to overthink washing your ass. When it's time for you to take a bath and you that cooler cat stink, that Peter Wacker stink, you're going to go get in the shower. You're not going to overthink that. You're not going to get in the shower thinking that you're going to pass away in the shower or anything is like that tragic is going to happen to you in the shower. Oh, what what's the worst that can happen to me if I could take a bath? You don't overthink that because you're not scared to take a bath. Y'all better not be scared to take a bath because you're not scared to take a bath. When you go to cut your lawn and stuff like that, you're not overthinking those type of situations because those are not stuff that you're scared to do. You're not scared to eat, so you don't overthink eating. You're not scared to get your hair done, so you don't overthink it. You might be scared of how it might look, but and when it comes to terms of actually just having your hair done, you're not going to be scared of that. Even with a haircut, you might be scared of how your tape might come out, but you're not going to overthink. Like, I definitely need a haircut. I just hope this person could do it right, but I'm still going to go do it because I'm not necessarily scared. I'm thinking about the outcome, but I'm not necessarily scared, so I still made the actions. I moved. I went and did it. Other things in life, you want to start a business, you sit there and think. 25 million things that could go wrong and that's the reason why you haven't start yet oh i ain't gonna get the llc now i ain't gonna do it because i don't know people might not support i'm talking to myself now people might not support me people might not do it people might not come see me i ain't gonna start singing or i ain't gonna do this i had a girl today tell me that she canceled her meet and greet or whatever and she felt like 
you know, she had like four or five people and she reached out to the people and nobody was sending back emails. And I told her, I'm a person that's really bad with emails. So you could have literally just been overthinking that, honestly, because I am like extremely terrible resp responding to emails. Although I know I signed up for something and I'm probably planning on going, I won't register for the email. I probably won't even RSVP. I'm that type of person that'll just show up. It's not a good thing, but I'm just, I was just sharing it with her. Like, you know, that's the type of person I am. So overthinking is basically fear. And what is fear? I wanted to um, like break this down. I wrote some notes because I kind of wanted to break this down to y'all. So I looked up the definition of fear. Fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something dangerous likely to cause some, someone or something is dangerous likely to cause pain or a threat. Overthinking is fear. What is fear? An unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause you pain or threat. Emotions. What is emotion? An unpleasant emotion. What is emotion? Feelings. A natural instinctive state of mind deriving from one's circumstances, mood, or relationships emotions is, is basically like when they say uh be delusional yeah that's what that that's basically what you cause like on yourself uh, uh emotion you have an emotion of something that's just like when somebody say something to you and you just take it out of character i could say to you girl that has ugly as hell and you might take it like oh my god it's so damn ugly but it might not be that, oh, it's just so damn ugly. It just might be the way I, I said it. But I might just be the type of person that just talk like that and be funny. Oh, girl, that hell ugly as hell. And, but I'm saying it in a joking way. And now you all in your feelings and your emotions. And you going crazy feeling like the hell so ugly. And now you never, ever, 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 ever want to get it again. And then next thing you know, Beyonce got the hell because she don't care what people said. And she ain't let her emotions and feelings get to what people say about a hairdo. Those are emotions, but I want y'all to know something. You are the one that creates everything in your world. That's why I made that example. You are the one that creates everything in your world. So if you, if something is ugly to you, it's because that's what you created to yourself. That is the emotion and the feeling that you came up with yourself. Everything that is beautiful to you. Why do you like, why are flowers so beautiful to you? Nobody told you, oh, that flower is beautiful without you believing yourself that the flower is beautiful. You believe that yourself that the flower was beautiful. If those flowers ugly, nobody told you, oh, them flowers ugly without you actually believing that in yourself. It was all, it was the belief that made you feel like something was right. If it makes, if it makes any sense to y'all, it was the belief of something or someone. Even when we like a man, a man or a woman. It was the belief. A lot of times I tell people oftentimes, like when we have, when we be with people, a lot of times people disappoint us because we come up with these scenarios, especially women. And I hear, well, men do it too, because men did it to me. Um, That, okay, this going to be my husband. We're going to have a boy and a girl. We're going to name them this. They're going to have his last name. They're going to be this color. We're going to send them to this school. We're going to move to this state. And that is what you believe. That was what you told yourself. That was your belief and your dreams. Oftentimes, it don't even be the other person's own. So we get mad and, you know, because we done projected this whole dream and everything on them. And now we mad at them. But that's off subject. That was your belief. That is what you felt. Those were your emotions. That is how you felt. That is what you wanted. You know why you wanted that? Because you created that in your head. You created that to yourself. You created that you was going to be with a man. You created that you was going to be with a woman. You created that you were going to have a boy and a girl. You created all that stuff. Although, yes, God placed some desires, desires and stuff in our heart or whatever like that. But that was what you believed. That was your belief system. That is what you believe. So... An unpleasant emotion caused by the belief. Fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause. Will you sit here and you overthinking a, a situation just because that's what you believe? I made a video on my YouTube 
I believe it's still up. And I said, I was sitting one day and I was thinking, I was thinking about a situation. And I was thinking about the situation and I was thinking nothing but bad over the situation. Let me give y'all an example. Let's just say you got a situation with your spouse, male or female, because I do, I don't want to just, I don't have a, I'm not just targeting women because I do have male friends, a lot of male people that's watching my stories and watching my podcasts or whatever. So I'm not just targeting women. So let's just say you in a relationship with somebody, right? And you just feel like, oh, they, they could be cheating. What if I cook for them and then they go leave and, and let somebody else cook for them? What if I uh, cook for them or what if I'm doing all this and that for them and they just go let somebody else do it for them? Or what if they cheating or what if they with two other people? They could be messing with two other people right now. They could be doing this. They could be doing that. That was what I what my energy was on like that day. What if, damn, I'm doing this and that for this person. They could do this and that. But what if I cook for them and they feel like I make the best chicken soup in the world they feel like i make the best baked chicken in the world and every time they if they was to talk to somebody else they feel like uh-uh this is not this is not hers no i wouldn't there's always a chance that there can be a good out of something no matter what the situation is there's always good in something when we're doing good when we're doing bad when we're going through something it's always good in something i shared with y'all the other day how my right now season i had to be thankful for my right now season I was having fear that, oh man, what if I got to give up my place? Oh man, what if I got to do this? What about? But what if you got to give up that place? Because if you don't give up that place, you're not gonna be in a in a position where you could meet a certain realtor and get a certain house. What if you stay in that place? You become stagnated and you stay like, okay, I got this money, but I'm gonna just stay in this place because I already got it. I come up with $100,000, but I'm going to just stay in this place because this is just what I know and this is what... But God really trying to put you in a, in a space where you will have some God-fearing neighbors that could put you in positions and rooms and, and other spaces where you never know you could be. But because you're so comfortable and so scared, to, uh-uh, I know I already got this place, so I don't want to lose this place. I'm going to do whatever I could do to keep this place because I know I already got to lose this place. But sometimes we be trying to control situations that's way out of our control. And I ain't even going to say we. I'm going to say me. I know me for a fact. I'm always trying to control a situation that's way out of my control. Why am I sitting here trying to control whether or not I should keep a job, whether or not I should keep a place, whether or not I should keep a relationship? I don't know what God got for me. God says, your, your ways, is in the Bible, your ways are not my ways. And he also says, seek first, Matthew 6, 33, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So we can't be out here trying to be scared about, oh man, if I lose this and that, and I told y'all, so I worry about what other people think. People not going to tell you what they doing to keep what they got. They ain't going to tell you where they hard at to get where they hard at and why they got what they got. A lot of people got what they got. I saw a post the other day about the evil being blessed. Yeah, it look like they blessed here on earth, but where they hard at? Where they eternity going to be at? That's what you want? Don't worry about what people got to say. If you got to let go of a car, let it go. If you got let let go of a, a, a house, let it go. If you got to let go of a job, a relationship, let it go. Stop trying to control everything. That was my problem. But it, it was like control. It's like I was dealing with being a control freak and fear at the same time. That You know how tragic that is? That put me in places where I end up having to go to jail. That put me in places where I end up having to lose things back to back to back because I was trying to control and scare at the same time. Scared of what? scared of what fear an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief the belief that if i lose this place how am i gonna get another place god duh but you know what i wasn't really in my bible and in my word and that's why god allowed certain things to happen to me so that i can get back in my word that's why god's gonna allow certain things to happen to you so that you can get back closer to him so that you can understand you are not in control of nothing we be out here being scared of something and it's really stopping our goals. Fear is really just an illusion of us protecting ourselves. Ourself. Okay. So since I'm scared that nobody else not going to want me. And I know this person wanted me once upon a time because they said it. Even if they're not the right person for me. But I'm scared that 
I'm not the right person for the type of person that I like, then I'm going to just stick here and stick it out with this per illusion. I'm protecting myself. Instead of leaving this nigga or this female behind, going on with my life, I'm sitting here trying to protect myself. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to do everything I can to pay my rent to keep this house because I don't want to go stay with nobody. And that. Trying to protect myself. And I don't know what I'm going to get out of having to go stay with somebody else. I don't know what I'm going to get out of having to give this place up. I don't know what's tied to this place. Yeah, I got it. I was in it for two years, three years, whatever the case may be. I don't know what's tied to it. I don't know the spirits that's in here. I don't know what's tied to it. So why am I sitting here beating myself up, constantly trying to protect myself? I'm going to ask y'all a question. And y'all could give me a real realistic answer. What in your life have you protected yourself from? What in your, that's the question what in your life have you protected yourself from even if you was touched on as a child and childhood memories still haunting you and even if you raised with families with drugs you was raised up poor and all that what have you protected yourself from because if you was raised up poor you didn't grow up doing nothing but buying a whole bunch of clothes and shoes you really just really hurting yourself because you're trying to fill that void of the illusion you're trying to fill that void within yourself, that little boy or that little girl boy. I grew up so poor, so I'm about every joy in that come out because we ain't had nothing when we was just an illusion. You grew up how you were supposed to grow up. That's what you did. Oh, I, I grew up and. I, I ain't never letting my kids out the house because I ain't never going to let nobody harm them because somebody harmed me. Trying to protect yourself. What happened? The kids grow up and what happened? They go getting into all type of stuff. And you, everything I try to protect you from, I try to tell her, I try to keep her away from that. Everything I try, you cannot protect yourself. Fear in is, a, is an illusion that you're protecting yourself. You will never be able to protect yourself without God's grace. Everything you do is going to always lead back to that. You can't protect yourself. It's, it's life. And even if you don't believe in God, your higher spirits, spirits, grace, you cannot protect yourself without the spirit, without Holy Spirit. You can't protect that. We can do all we can. We can tell our children and teach our children what's right and what's wrong and what not to do. But we can't protect them. When they get 16 and 17, half of them, 15 and 14, we cannot tell, we cannot protect them. Why you think sometimes when stuff happens to people, people, children getting murdered and stuff like that, they so sad and so hurt i did all i could do to protect my baby all i wanted to do was protect my baby you were so focused on that illusion of protection or uh, you protecting you protecting you protecting i know no that's where you got to get into your word baby what what the um songs say i am with you my rod and my staff comforts you that's 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 the protector things gonna happen regardless I don't know if y'all noticed that, but things going to happen regardless. God protect us. Things happen regardless. And I'm going to tell y'all something. The things that don't happen, the things that have happened to us, see, this is the thing. We're trying to protect ourselves from things not happening because of things that we know can happen. We're trying to protect ourselves from things not happening to us. Why? Because we don't, if that happened to me, then... I ain't going to be the same no more. If I lose my place, then people ain't people going to look at me like this and that. And if I lose my place and got to go stay with somebody else, then that's going to lower, lower my standards and who I am because I got to go stay in somebody else's house and I ain't got my own place. Trouble ain't never stopped the anointing, baby. When you anointed and you got a protection and a call over your life, it ain't a trouble in this world that's going to stop that. The anointing will never, ever go away. Stop beating yourself up and worrying about if I lose this job, then people going to look at me different. And, and if I ain't get, if I don't get no job, some of y'all going into jobs, y'all don't got no business being in. Being in places, y'all ain't got no business being in. Because y'all worrying about, okay, if I get this job, then I won't be a loser because I got a job. So it's not like I'm just out here not doing nothing because I won't be a loser. You not having no job ain't going to make you no loser if you standing in your, in your anointing and what it is that you're supposed to be doing in your purpose. That's not going to make you no loser. The anointing does not change. No matter what those circumstance is, the, the anointing does not change. I don't care where I'm at in life. I could get a blanket and a pillow and go lay on the bus stop right now. And I would still feel like 
I'm a Drika Davis. Like, oh, you don't know? Yeah, I'm, I'm a Drika Davis. I would still have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that I have and I've always had. I would still have confidence. I would still be me. It's me. Sometimes somebody told me the other day that not recently that I had got into an argument with, I shared that a person told me, you ain't got this and you ain't got that. And I said, I'm still better than you. This heart so clean and so pure. My mind so different from you. I see why. You know, they often say men got a type, but men be knowing. And I see why. My heart, my mind is so different from you. The way you think and the way you act out on things, my mind is so different from you. And I hate that I even had to be put in situations dealt with certain people to act a certain way. That's why it's good. Your isolation season is always good. Your isolation season is always good. But when you're in your isolation season, be free. Give yourself grace. Don't sit there and, oh, man isolated i ain't got this going on i ain't got that going on i don't want to say this because of this and that i don't want to do this because of this and that and if i post this video they gonna see that i don't have a haircut i ain't got no lashes on i ain't got no eyebrows on eyebrows ain't arch fingernails pads due for about three weeks edges ain't done but i still got this mind that's the most important thing i have this mind i have the knowledge i got the experience all that other stuff, it comes when it comes. And it don't really matter. What's most important is now. And I had to train myself this because I had really got so, y'all, I was such a control freak. And not even in relationships with my whole life. And I was a control freak over my life because I've always had to figure it out on my own. I always knew church, the Bible, Holy Spirit. I always felt those things, but... I always, in real life, I always go up back into the real world and be like, wow, I got to figure this out. Right now, I got something that's due, and it's been on my mind, but I can't really stress about it because God got me in a situation where you ain't got no choice but not to stress about it. You ain't got the money to pay for it, so what you going to do? Don't be like me and have to be put in situations where God will make you, make you have no choice but to not be scared. What's going to happen is going to happen. He's going to make a way because he know that I need a way made in that situation. He's going to make a way, but it's up to me to believe whether it's, I'm going to go out here and sleep with different men, catching different diseases or engaging in different spirits just to get that. When I could just trust, I don't know who will come, on, come along and say, somebody might see this video here and say, you know what? What's your cash out? I'm not saying that y'all have to do that. If y'all want to do it as generous, fine. I'm just making an example. Somebody might see this video and say, "What's your cash out?" Let's just suppose Tyler Perry see the video and say, "Let me make a let me let me make a movie to your story to this story." I'll pay you excellent. You know what I'm saying? Do not be fearful, because had I not posted this video, I wouldn't know what happened. This might be my video that go viral. Who knows? If you got something on your heart on your mind, say it. Say how you feel. Don't be afraid of what people gonna think and what the outcome gonna be oh man sometime i post a video i don't know if people gonna like it or not even on my youtube i go back and look at my videos i don't know like i see some videos all my videos right now got over 100 views but instead of me saying dang i wish i had 10,000 i'd be happy my video my live video hit 200 views the other day i was oh my god you would have thought i was monetized with 200k and everything i was about to have a celebration I about to go buy me a slice of cheesecake because I have to be thankful for my right now. I know that it's something great. I know what's coming next for me, and I'm not I'm not fearful fearful anymore. And just the fact that I'm not fearful anymore is a celebration. I'm gonna be honest with you. Not being fearful and not overthinking situations puts you in such a high energy. My energy has been so high and so up lately since I have not been worrying about oh, what's the worst that can happen. What's the worst that can happen? I got on live the other day. People went on there. Oh, I love this live. Oh, I just was watching your video. Sometimes I post videos on TikTok and there's a lot of people that don't really like to engage. Some people don't know how you're going to treat them. Some people, but they'll watch. And every, I post videos. Somebody, oh my God, I'm currently watching your video right now. I click on the person that I never saw them before. I was just watching your video right now on YouTube. You don't know who's watching. You don't know who's listening. You don't know who know who. Whatever trials and tribulations you, you got in your life, let it happen. I don't care. Let it happen. Your car keep going. Man, this car keep going X, Y, Z. This car keep going X, Y, Z. 
man, I don't, if I give up my car, I'm going to have to get on the bus. I got to go out here and kill myself, running up my blood pressure, being so frustrated and aggravated with my kids because I'm trying to make all these hours to get the money that I got to get to fix this engine on this car, this transmission on when I, I ain't going to have the money to income tax. You don't know when you're going to have the money because it's not in your hands. You, cause you're trying to control a situation that you know nothing about. You don't know nothing, but I guess, I bet you what? You going to do three days, fruits and water, get down on your hands and knees and pray. I bet you will know. You'll be like, oh, my God. It, the man, I took the car to the mechanic, and the man found out it wasn't even the transmission. It was a rat inside the tube. Oh my God, God, I'm so thankful. Now I ain't got to worry about all that. I ain't even have to worry about that. I, I ain't even have to stress. Thank, that's how life works. That's how life works. Overthinking really stops you from your goals. I remember, I'm going to share with y'all. When I first started, when I first started making videos, I used to do so good. If y'all go back to my old videos, I used to get a thousand plus views. So good. And people used to be like, oh, when you going to make another video on YouTube, on my Instagram and stuff? But I had got so fearful. I started going through certain things, and the devil was attacking me in different ways, friendships and everything. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to just leave that alone. I ain't going to worry about it. I don't want to make videos because I don't want a person to feel like, oh, they the reason why I was making the videos and stuff like that. And then once I get famous, a person felt, you know, I just started thinking the worst of the worst of the worst. But guess what? I don't know in the course of that year span or two years span that I wasn't making videos, I don't know where I would be right now. I should definitely right now be in my own podcast studio. I should definitely right now be monetized. I should definitely right now be doing super chats. I should definitely right now be on TV talk shows, sharing my story. I should be there. But because of the fear, the illusion, the fear, the unpleasant emotion caused by the belief of someone or something it's dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat. What I just told y'all. Fearing that a person was going to feel like, oh, well, maybe they was this. Or fearing that people weren't going to watch. Something, someone likely to cause, it's dangerous, likely causing pain or threat. If people don't watch, that will cause me pain. But it was just fear. It was literally just fear. Emotions, a natural instant, instinctive state of mind deriving from one circumstances mood or relationship belief oh, i'm sorry i forgot to get the belief oh i'm so sorry belief and acceptance that a statement is true or that something exists and acceptance that a statement is true or something exists that's what i was sharing with y'all earlier everything that happened and shout out to coach g if y'all don't know coach g he is mr don't dnt play 83 i think or something on or mr don't play on tiktok and he had a whole seminars and everything good that is one person that y'all need to be following on tiktok i send him to a lot of my people but that's one person mr don't play on tiktok belief is an acceptance that a state a statement is true or that something exists. A lot of stuff that's going on in our mind is only in our mind because that's what we're making ourselves believe. A lot of stuff that's going on in our mind is only in our mind because we're making ourselves believe. You will never know what's actually true until you get out of your mind and get back into the real world because what's going on in the real world is actually true. Like somebody wrote me under my comments the other day and was like, Oh my God, I can't believe you resp responded to my comment. And I'm like, responded to your comment. Now over here in my world, responding to a comment for me is beauty because I'm just over here thankful that I got a comment on my live. So responding to, I'm ready to respond to anybody comment right now. It could be a troll page or, 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 or whatever, a spam page. I don't care. I'm just ready to respond to anybody page. But because in her world, she already got herself believing, maybe because she commented on somebody else's life and the person ignored her or they felt like you know they too big and too mighty they on their high horse that they didn't ignore her so she felt like oh you know what uh, she might hold me to a high standard and think that i would be big and oh she might feel like i'm big see i don't feel like i'm big other people do she might feel like oh this is a big person that probably not gonna respond to my to my 
thing but doesn't know but that's not gonna respond to my comment but she don't even understand that i'm in a season right now where i need her to comment i need you to respond to my comment but because of your belief now had she not ever commented on my video on my live she would have never known that damn okay so drink could not like that she actually want people to come and she would have never fear could have held her back from actually being in communications with me for real but because she oh my god i can't believe you know she took the risk and went and commented on the comment take the risk open the business take the risk do it what's the worst that can happen you gonna win lose or draw that's all what's the worst that can happen from me not from me posting videos on youtube the worst thing that can happen is people don't see them that's the worst thing that can happen and if people don't see them i don't i would never know but only thing i can do is go back to my creator okay god what am I doing wrong in these videos? People not seeing my videos or whatever. Or what's the worst thing that can happen? I get a little bit of views, only 100 views, which is a lot. Me, one of my videos, I almost got 800. I'm waiting for it to get 800. I check it every day. What's the worst that can happen? People have an opinion. Who cares? They talked about Jesus. I keep telling y'all. They talked about Jesus when they was carrying him to the cross. They put him up there. They laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Look at you. Get down now when he died and they pulled him down and put him in the in the um thing for three days they talked about him while he was in there oh you know you heard what they did to jesus they crucified him and put him in there he is gone baby that's what they did what happened that baby rose up from three days and now to this day decades and decades and centuries and centuries later he's still the greatest thing ever created what's the worst thing that's gonna happen Whatever situation you're thinking about right now, I want you to write down all the bad that can happen in a situation and then write down all the good that can happen in a situation. And if the good and the bad are even, always go for the good no matter what. And if the good is outweighing the bad, X out everything that's bad that you wrote down and don't burn it. Never think about it again. And if all the bad is outweighing the good, Check yourself first and make sure that that's not what you're making yourself believe. Be realistic with yourself. Make sure that this is what this is what's actually real. Don't be saying, oh, but this can happen because I know this happened to my cousin before. My cousin was talking to this boy and he had a whole baby on her. I don't want that to happen. Your cousin's story ain't your, co ain't your story, boo. That's not your story. Your cousin's story is not your story. That is an illusion and a belief that you making up for yourself. Every man that you come in contact with is not going to have a baby on you. They might all cheat. And see, that's even that's something that I created in my own mind. You know what I'm saying? But it, that other people's story ain't your story. Half of the time, y'all be up here mad and having an illusion about shit that happened to other people. That ain't even happened to you. What the fuck? What is you so scared for? What is you mad for? It ain't happened to you. That's not your story. And that's how I'm living life every day. Other people's story is not my story. Even things that did happen to me, that was a part of my story. I'm rebranding now. That was history. History is not to be erased, but it's to be remembered. I ain't living in that no more, though. I'm not living in that no more, though. It is what it is. It happened. That's not me. The little girl that was abandoned and neglected okay i was abandoned and neglected by my mom she had her issues going on so what life goes on you was abandoned and neglected just to turn around and be the greatest just to turn around and have your story make you become successful what was the worst that was going to happen out of that situation i was abandoned and neglected but then it turned out that my story made me successful and telling my story and taking accountability and what happened to me and what happened for me because a lot of times stuff don't happen to us. It happened for us. I shared that with y'all on the live the other day, the situation with my mom. That didn't happen to me. That happened for me. God allowed all that stuff to happen for me. It didn't happen to me. And that's another thing that y'all have to realize. Maybe you was SA when you was younger. We all done been there before. We all done done that. But if that's not the live you live in that. You don't live in that. Don't be scared of that. Because... That is not you no more. The person who you sleeping with now is not the person that touched you. The family that you are trying to create now is not the same family that did that to you. That's not the same family that hid that. That's not the same family. 
there will never be anything greater than you in your world. And you are a magnet. Everything in your world is only because you made that way. You made it that way. Whatever around you that is awesome is because you made it that way. Whatever makes you insecure is because you made it that way. Shout out to my coach, Coach G. I'm going to read that for you in it again. There will never be anything greater than you in your world. This is my world. Imagine me letting fear control. Fear literally controls us. Controls our fear. Take, we have to take control of fear because if not, fear can control and destroy us. Imagine me letting fear take control of my world and the raw life that God gave me. I'm going to sit here and let fear take it away. My world, my destiny, so I'm delusional. I'm finna have a raw ass shop. I already got all the pictures off Pinterest. How I'm finna have my shop set up. Something way unique and different. I might tell y'all about it on live. I'm finna have my shop for my podcast set up. I got another business that I'm finna have that's that's gonna be successful. I got a non-profit organization that I'm finna open up. Rest in peace of my sister Tap J Jameson. I got a non-profit organization that I'm finna open up. I got another business, two more different businesses that I done set and did a lot of homework on. And I got a podcast. And I'm going to be sharing my stories with others. And I'm doing meet and greets and everything. I'm In my mind, I'm literally doing it. I'm literally doing it. And my bank account is like negative 200 and something dollars right now. And I'm still finna do all that. And I'm just being honest. And I'm still finna, and I promise y'all, mark my words. I'm still gonna do all that. And my bank account is negative two hundred dollars right now. It might be not not be next year to my stuff get to going, but I'm still gonna do it. Imagine me letting fear stop me from being this beautiful black queen. They got all these different businesses all owned up. They come from a story where she could have been somewhere in jail, in prison locked up because she was scared and out here trying to protect herself from from things that happened to her in the past imagine me letting fear could take control of all that when i could literally be a big boss on tv jennifer hudson show hey how y'all doing my name is madrika davis how you doing firm handshake that's where i'm gonna go so imagine me letting fear take control of that and i'm so scared to the point i'm going to jail back to back because i'm out here Controlling, oh, ain't nobody finna talk to me no crazy because I'm this, I'm that, because I'm scared of shit that happened to me in my past. Still holding on to shit that the little girl in me still crying out for my mommy and my daddy. And I'm still living in that fear. Now I'm out here taking my anger out on other people and not letting nobody talk to me crazy enough. Fear is stupid. Get rid of it. Don't let it control you. Take control of it. Simple. There will never be anything greater than you and your world. You are a magnet. Everything in your world is only because you made it that way. You made it that way. Everything that's going on in your world right now is because you made it that way. And I don't know who I'm talking to, but I feel like somebody is really like catching a revelation watching this video right now. It's only because you made it that way. Whatever around you that is awesome is because you made it awesome. I see some people, they got flower collections. You know why? That's what they, when they was a child, they made that, oh my God, it's a flower. I look at flowers and say, um, I might walk over them. It's because that's just not what, that's not what I made relevant in my, in my life. If you made flowers relevant in your life, hey, that is what you made relevant. That is what you like. That is what you made your happiness. Some people like teddy bears. Some people like candy. Some people cope differently. That's what makes you happy. But you the one who made it happy. Made made you happy. I don't eat stuff. And somebody asked me the other day about my son. And I was talking to him and I was asking him. He plays basketball so well. Number one on the team. Point guard. All that. And I want him to be on the travel team. And I said, you know what, God? Why this boy want to ride these damn dirt bikes? Although my son been riding dirt bikes since a child. I have no problem with him riding dirt bikes. I'm not scared of nothing. He literally, that's just in his blood. He's not one of them kids that they just start riding dirt bikes today. Now I got to be scared. They ain't never like dirt bikes. This boy been riding dirt bikes since he was a child toddler. This boy had a dirt bike obsession. Literally going to Walmart, pick up all the dirt bikes, electric dirt bikes to the ones he got now. So I'm not scared of that. But I want him to do something else. And you know, God told me the dirt bikes make him happy. You remember when you was a little girl and you wanted to be in the band so bad? 
Why? That's what you made made you happy in your world. That's what you looked at and said, oh my God, that makes me so happy. So everything in your world right now that's making you sad and making you overthink, you're causing that. You're making that relevant in your world. You thinking somebody going to cheat on you is because you're making it relevant in your world. Why are you, instead of thinking somebody going to cheat on you, you know what I, you should start thinking, and I'm talking to myself too because I just dealt with this. Even though sometimes we be in situations where we just, my situation, I feel like I was just in relationship with people I had no business being with anyway. So it was never, God was going to always ruffle that up because the people was too far, not my people. I ain't even going to say beneath me, but they was in a totally different world from where I'm going. Like I'm literally going this way and they in a totally different world from where I'm going. So it was always going to be problems regardless. But now my next relationship is going to be nice because I'm going to be so healed. And so you going to cheat on me. Somebody that done been through so much and as powerful and got as much knowledge as I got. That's how you got to start looking at yourself. I'm, I am superior, baby. And whatever energy you in is the energy you on train. So if you with a loser and that loser start cheating on you, male or female, guess what? Your energy and what you vibrating in ain't going to do nothing but attract somebody raw and that's for you. That's all that's going to happen. Oh, you cheated on me? What a loser. I've been through so much in my life. And I'm, I know so much and got so much knowledge. It ain't even about my sexual. It's just about the knowledge that I know and the energy that I bring and the protection that God got over my life. You need to be trying to be next to me. Why would you go cheat on me? And why would you want to go talk about me so bad? I think that's crazy. That's rather loserish. That's how you got to start looking at stuff. Don't worry about people talking about you at your job. Same thing. You talk about me and I got the potential to do everything up in here. I got the potential to go open me up three and four businesses. And you got to know to be sitting here talking about me. And the type of person I am, you don't know the anointing God got on my life. But that's only going to come from you knowing you. That's why I say get in tune with yourself. Stop being so fearful. Get in tune with yourself. Find out what you really like. In my season, what I'm, I don't find out so much stuff I really like. I, like, I know my attention span is not with certain things. I kind of like reading books. That's why I wanted to start the book club. I kind of like the reading books thing. That's cute to me. Excuse me. I kind of like reading books. I found out so many different things that I like about myself. I found out so many thing, different things that I know about myself. Good and bad. Get in tune with yourself. Don't be fearful. What you scared of? That's just like people that don't know how to swim. Okay, you can drown, but you can also swim like a fish. So, what are you scared of? You can drown, but you can swim like a fish too. You can drown, but there's a possibility that you can also learn how to swim like a fish. What are you scared of? That's why I say write down your goods and your bad. You scared to open a business. You know everything about this business. You don't watch video after video, read book after book. You know everything about this business. But just the thought of somebody not buying something from you and just hearing the stories, oh, this person wasn't successful till they became 79. That is not your story, love. Sorry. Sorry to bust your bubble. Boop. That is not your story. Get out of them and get in you. Do it. I don't care what it is, how it is. Do it. Okay? Overthinking is ruining us. Overthinking is ruining us. Get out of it. Let it go. Leave it alone. You know how you as a child, mom, poppy. Hey, leave that alone. That's how I'm doing, y'all. That fear, just leave it alone. Let it go. Let it go. I don't care. I don't want to hear. Let it go. Yes, yeah, a possibility that can go wrong, but it's a possibility it can go right. It was a possibility that I didn't have enough storage in my phone to record this video, baby. We're at 43 minutes. I ain't sit here and say, damn, I ain't got no storage. I ain't gonna make the video yet until I'm able to get me some more storage or get me another phone so I can have more storage. Baby, we at 43. That was a possibility that, but it was also a possibility that if we could sit here and record. I don't know how long this is gonna go on. You know what I'm saying? Get out of that. Let it go. Stop overthinking. Stop sabotaging. And always remember, trouble does not, I'm gonna title this that. Trouble does not stop your anointing. I don't care what it is and what you have to face and what you have to go through. Trouble does stop being see y'all scared to stop smoking. Y'all scared to stop drinking because the people that's around y'all, what they're gonna say, oh now you don't smoke no more. Now you don't drink. And sure don't. 
What's the worst thing I could say if you don't smoke or drink no more? You don't come around no more. Yeah, you don't come around no more. You don't smoke, you don't drink. That boy reading the Bible now. Sure don't smoke. Sure don't drink. Sure is reading the Bible. What's the worst that could happen? They gonna go to hell and you ain't? Not saying that everybody that smoke and drink going to hell because that's not the case, clearly. But what's the worst that could happen out of that situation? You save yourself from going to hell? So what? What's the worst that could happen if you stop smoking? You get your health back on track? What's the worst that's going to happen if you start fasting? People scared to fast. Oh, I don't know if I could do that. Oh, uh -uh, I got to have something. What's the worst that, that can happen? You're going to lose a little weight, but your mind going to be exactly where you need it to be? Your gut health is exactly where you need it to be now? Now you can move around and you can think straight. Now you can think about all the good stuff that's going to happen with you opening that business. Now you can think about all the good stuff that's going to happen with you when you start your family. I don't know who need to hit it, hear this. Somebody need to hear this. The videos that I make, I talk to y'all and I talk to myself. I have to live. I don't give advice. I give experience. I'm giving y'all experience of things I've experienced. Fear that I'm going to lose this. Fear that people not going to watch my videos. Fear that people not going to join my lives. Still not be kind of scared that, oh, people ain't going to join my lives. Fear. That's why I tell y'all, please, just one person get on there. One person or two people. We could talk on there for 30 minutes. One person or two people. Every Tuesday, 7.30 p.m., every Friday, 7.30 p.m., and pop-up lives during the weekend. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is people that, gonna get, that don't get on there. And then what? It just might not be my time. God might need to teach me a few more things and might want me to experience a few more things so that I can help people. Okay, so if it ain't my time right now, okay. And then when my time come, it's your time now. Now you're doing it. Now everybody's watching. Now you're on the big screen. Now you are actually healing people. Because my thing is, I want to heal people. I want people to know from my experience. Certain stuff I wish I had listened to. Sometimes people told me certain things I wish I had listened to. But experience is the best teacher. So for the people that has actually experienced this and watching this video, like, oh my God, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Or they thinking about whatever it is their situation is and just inputting their situation in the, in the uh, what I'm trying to explain to y'all. I mean, I know I'm making these faces with y'all, but it's like, hello. Now might be a time. Now might not be a time. If it ain't your time, it ain't your time. If it is your time, it is your time. Make the big videos. Start the business. Apply for the job. Everybody is not to be an entrepreneur. Apply for the job. What's the worst that can happen? They're going to tell you, you ain't get a position. You still got a job, though. You still making money, though. You still able to pay your bills, though, right? What's the worst that can happen? They're going to say, oh, no, we can't hire you because you need three more months of experience. You got three more months in you, baby. You ain't going nowhere. So what? Okay. Three more months. Go back and do it again. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, people run off. going to say, oh, she applied, but they ain't get her. To, you see, they ain't get her. To, you see, they ain't get her the position. Those type of people. You don't need to be around them type of people anyways, baby. That's first and foremost. You don't need to be around them type of people anyways. What's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to say, oh, you see, they ain't get her the position. And then in three months, what they're going to say? They're going to be the first people back there cutting cake. Congratulations, girl. Upload you on their Facebook, Instagram. Congratulations to my co-worker, Sharita, with the new management position. Three months ago, they the same people that went. That's why you can't worry about what people saying. Let people sit in their misery and what they got going on. What's the worst people can say about you? She didn't get the position, girl. You see that on she did it. They said they didn't give it to her because she, I don't know why she went and applied for that. Anyway, she knows she ain't been here long enough. All of a sudden, nobody else applied for the position. Now, they just give it to you. What are they going to say? Oh, how she get that? Out of you got it. It don't matter. So what? What you scared of? You got it. You got it now. No matter how many times it ain't been done. Oh, she ain't even been there. How they going to get her that? But nobody else. Everybody else was scared. They was worrying about what people going to say. Nobody else applied for it. But you stepped out on faith and you applied for it. And now you got it. What are they going to say? Oh, they going to be upload Facebook. Oh, let me get a pic, sis. Congratulations to my coworker Sharita. She got the position of such and such management. Congratulations, girl. Now they coming to your office every day because they scared. They know they done talked so bad. They scared. Hey, girl, you want some lunch? I'm going to go get some lunch because they know they done talked about you so bad.
Now they gotta make sure they securing they, they position. Now they in a different world of fear. You wanna be living like that? Oh, okay. Do you? I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm begging y'all. Okay. Thank y'all for showing me so much love. Thank y'all for loving me. A lot of people around y'all like, oh my God, I just like your vibe. Your personality is just top tier. Thank y'all. This came from a lot of trauma and a lot of pain, but it also came from a lot of love and most love from my Lord and Savior. But thank y'all so much for watching this phone on 10% child. So I ain't going to, I ain't going to sit here and be talking about, oh, I ain't scared. The phone going to go there. This thing ain't going to cut off. Okay. Some things just facts and some things just fear. Know the difference.